Hello students, in this video we will solve the 2017's OJE lateral entry of the basic elliptical solution. So, first question, carbon as a material is used in making, we know that carbon is a conducting material so it will always leads to collect the currents in the generator or it will provide the current to the motor so we know that in the construction the carbon is used as a process in a DC machine to facilitate the flow of current from or to the rotating armature winding conductors in generators we collect the current through this process and in motor we provide the current through this process so carbon is a material which is used as a process in the DC machine next question mica is a material which is used between so mica is a insulating material so it will provide as a insulation so in the option number A, it is given that the commutator segments of DC machine to provide insulation. So it's the correct answer. So option A will be the correct answer. In the other option, you can see that it is not the purpose of insulation purpose. So all are incorrect. Option A will be the correct answer. In the next question, a magnetic flux of 0.05 wave bar links a coil having 5000 number of turns the flux changes its sign in a time interval of 0.1 second the value of induced emf in the coil during this change in flux linkage is suppose we have a coil so we will flow current through this coil I current will be flow this through coil. So let L be the inductance in Henry in the coil. So after providing current, it will links to this coil. Then a flux linkage will be provided. And this flux linkage will induce a EMF through this coil. So let us that induce EMF as E. And this E can be given by n d phi by dt where n is the number of coils and d phi by dt is the change in flux so in this question we have number of turns is 5000 and d phi is 0 0.05 and the time is 0 0.1 second so putting these values that is 5000 into d phi is 0 0.05 and time is 0.1 second so by calculating it we will get that emf is 2500 volt so option b will be the correct answer in the next question iron losses in a 3 kva single phase two winding transformer can be determined in the laboratory by performing on it so we can find the losses such as iron losses copper losses by performing open circuit and short circuit on the single phase transformer for iron losses will perform the open circuit test with rated voltage so open circuit test by applying a rated voltage for copper losses we will short circuit by applying a reduced voltage for short circuit here the option will be option d for short circuit but here in this question option a will be the correct answer that is open circuit test with rated voltage so in the next question in a series generator the field winding is made up of conductors of of thick 
cross section and less in number so option d will be the correct answer in the next question the compensating winding in a dc machine is housed in the slots of the pole faces option b will be the correct answer in the next question in a dc machine operating in the saturated region of magnetic field the nature of the effect of armature reaction of flux on the main field flux is the both demagnetizing and cross magnetizing effects in the next question a single phase transformer is used in a circuit along with an ammeter of 5 ampere rating connected in secondary side the ammeter in the secondary side reads as 2 ampere while the actual line current in the primary side is 80 ampere the ratio of current in the secondary side to the current in the primary side will be so in this question we have a single phase transformer whose primary and secondary currents are given in the second side we have a 5 ampere rated ammeter having 2 ampere as the current and in the primary side we have 80 ampere so we have to calculate the ratio of secondary current to the primary current so we have secondary current as 2 ampere primary current as 80 ampere that is 2 divided by primary current is 80 that equal to 1 by 40 so option a will be the correct answer that is 1 is to 40 in the next question for p2 being the total power input to the rotor of a three phase induction motor and s being its slip its total copper loss will be we know that for a three phase induction motor the copper loss will be the input to the rotor into the slip so s into p2 so option a will be the correct answer in the next question a dc generator driven at 1000 rpm that is revolution per minute has an open circuit voltage of 240 volt if its speed is increased to 1250 rpm the open circuit voltage will be obviously it will be increases so 200 and 240 will not the correct answer so let us find the correct answer so we have the relation as n1 by n2 equal to e1 by e2 here n1 is 1000 n2 is 1250 and e1 is 240 so by putting this n1 is 1000 n2 is 1250 that equal to 240 by e2 so e2 will be 240 into 1250 divided by n1 1000 so that equal to 300 volt so option d will be the correct answer hope you like this video please share and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos thank you